Welcome back everybody to the next episode of Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, we made our way to Lindblom, but not before seeing an incredibly sad scene that no, undoubtedly is going to affect Vivi for quite some time. Um, him just seeing the Black Mages and then not talking appeared to make him really sad. And so I can only imagine watching them kind of defend him and get obliterated how that might how that might affect him. So I want to just do a quick inventory. Um, st really, steepled hat gives him nothing. Um, we got a glass armlet which gives him antibodies. That's steel gill. I'll give it to Zidane because he'll learn two things from it. Um, but are they better? Uh, I'd lose spirit, I'd gain strength? Interesting. Um, I'm going to keep spirit because I was told that helps with stuff. Um, stealing. <laughs> stealing. Okay, so we've learned bird killer. Now we have linen curious and magic. Okay, whatever. But hey, we'll take defense. And he'll learn, he'll start to learn cover from it. And now we'll get undead killer. Undoubtedly, we'll fight some undead. Um, that'll be cool. Uh, ba -ba -ba Ooh, bronze is water. Interesting. Did not know that. Okay, so we're still learning to level up. Uh, next. Ooh, we're almost there. Okay, so we'll go to we'll get minus strike from that. Therefore, we won't have to utilize the rubber helmet unless we just want lightning to resist. And fifty percent is a lot. Uh, we'll get back to bug killer soon. Um, hmm. Sure. I mean, it's just better. That's good. Can I go back? Ooh, I could go up to that. Okay. Hmm. Alrighty, she's almost got shell. So we are good to go. Looks like I already looked around at stuff in here. Probably make sure we have stuff equipped. Okay. I've not used flea once, so let's use antibody instead, which is poison. Don't want to be poisoned. Um, no idea which one is more valuable at the moment. Cover. You take damage in place of an ally. That is interesting. Hmm. May come up in a bit. And you've got nothing. That's okay. Anyway, how is everyone doing today? Let me know in the comments how you're doing. Hopefully it's been a good day, a good week. All kinds of good stuff is what I hope for you. Um, the Blessing of Water by Malicio Court Artisan. Celebrating 20 years of rule under Sid the, the Ninth for Final Fantasy IX. Love it. Hmm. Looks like there's no place to insert the metal. What? What? Looks like there's no place to insert the metal. Huh. Wonder what they're talking about. Welcome to Lindblum. Welcome to Lindblum. Do you play cards? No. Do you play cards? <laughs> Does the old man play cards? He's asleep. <laughs> right. I forgot he fell asleep telling us a terrible story. Oh, hey, her uncle. Oh, I forgot your name. Avistan or something like that. Tanya. Lindblom Castle is three levels, all connected by this lift. From the base level, which lies below the mist, you can take a trolley to the harbor and the back gate. Ships hardly arrive at the harbor anymore since travel by air has become so popular. Also, that must that a uh, beard is fantastic. The mist propo the mist poses great danger, so we've sealed off everything. And just above the base level is the mid level. You can ride the air cab from the mid-level to go down. The upper level contains the royal chambers and the conference room. Access to this level is restricted because the, reg uh, the regent himself resides there. Hey Dagger, what's the regent Sid like? I lived in Lindblom for a while, but I've never met him. 
Regent Sin is very wise. He always thinks ahead. You've never met him. He may seem a bit odd at times, but he is very dependable. He and my father were best friends. Mmm. I wonder if he'll even listen to what I have to say. Don't worry, we're not leaving until he does. Oh, you're wearing glasses. That's why your eyes look so funky. We will arrive at the lift at the upper level shortly. Also, I got a comment. I know there's been some support for Vivi to sound like Gaius. But I got a comment that was like, hey, that should be reserved just for Gaius. And it, it just kind of resonated with me for a day or two. And I was like, you know what? I've got to figure out Vivi's proper voice because I can't give him Gaius's voice. That's, that's for my baby boy with Mr. Toes. Mr. Toes, you sleeping? And he's sleeping. Sire, Prince is gone and if Alexandria wishes to see you. Princess, is something wrong? The region isn't here, and I don't know who... Take a look at the throne. What in the world? What? The... Quack? Quack? Greetings! The... Oglop! I'm sorry, Sid's an Oglop? Sire! What? What? Dagger, what's wrong? Why aren't you talking to... Jeez, that's an Oglop! Wow, even the Oglops are big in Lindblum. What is the meaning of this? How dare you greet the princess like this? Get that repulsive bug off the throne immediately and call the regent! Please settle down, you are before the regent. What? Enough of your nonsense! Steiner, stand down. I remember that mustache. Is that really you, Uncle's- Wait, he's your uncle and you never met him? Or is it just because good friends with dad? Yes, greetings all. I am Sid Fabul, regent of Lindblom. I knew it was you. I recognized your pendant's description. It's so much like my falcon claw. I'm delighted to see you again, Garnet. You have truly become a fine lady. I, on the other hand... I guess he saw her when she was a baby, maybe. Allow me to explain. About six months ago, someone snuck into the castle and attacked the regent in his sleep. But unfortunately, we were too late. The regent had been transformed into an Oglop and his wife, Lady Hilda, was abducted. Oh, goodness. Whoever pulled this off had to be highly skilled, like me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, but it was you. Shut up, Steiner. That's... That's not possible. How can you be sure? Do you know who we are? Of course, I may be a bug, but I'm still the ruler of Lindblom. Uncle Sid, I appreciate you seeing me on such short notice. I desperately need to speak with you about my mother. That's what I figured. Oh my god, he's crossing his arms. I already love this man. He's my little bug Pokemon. But I'm sure it can wait till tomorrow. Why don't you all get some rest for today? Thank you. It is time for lunch. Please follow me. Got so many voices. So many voices and I'm a terrible voice actor. Whoa, I'm in the city. I can't stand the food of the castle. It's way too high class for my tastes. How can anyone get full on that stuff? The cheap food here is a lot better. Today's special is... Soup the Silence. Not bad. The Silent Soup. <gasps> I don't know who that is. Yo, Pops. I'll have the stupid special. Who said that? Sorry, Dane. I figured it was you. <laughs> have you been? All right, I guess. Bobo. Ooh, hey, pretty lady. Have a seat. Your soup will be ready in a minute. Minute. Do you mind? You're standing in everyone's way. Ooh. This track. Sometimes you just gotta stop and enjoy the music. It's the JRPG version of Smell the Flowers. What is that thing in the left? Looks like a an onion man. Whoa. And I don't mean the guy whose helmet you can see. I, I mean the guy on the very far left. The green one. Hey. Yeah? Do you want a drink? How about you and me go for a cruise on an airship? R really? An airship? Sounds like you've never been on one. You know, Lindblom is quite a sight from high above. Woman at the counter. 
Hey, monkey tail, you're disturbing the other customers. Ooh, what voice do I give them? Oh, my goodness, what do I give you? I don't know. What the? You got a tail too, rat face. Rat face, after I finish my drink, I'm gonna kick your butt. He's Idane, take it outside. Hmm? Long time, Zidane. Hey, what's up? Wait a minute. You forgot my name? No, I remember. You're Helga, right? Wrong. Christine? No. Oh, yeah! You used to live next door to me. How's it going, Rachel? Man, you've really gotten big. You nasty little. Come on, I'm just kidding. You know I never forget a pretty girl's name. Race Burmesian. Female, 21. Dom Ooh, you're left-handed. Okay, okay, you're our first lefty of the group. So, how have you been, Freya? If I could do, like, a Scandinavian accent, I'd try that. Ah, same old Zaydane. Maybe, maybe I'll just do that. That's that's the best I can... What? Look at that guy. He's not a, a mushroom or an onion. I like his ears. Same old Zaydane. How long has it been? About three years. Hey, did you ever find out anything about your boyfriend? No. Fun fact. I don't really know what a Scandinavian accent sounds like. I have general ideas in my head from films I've seen and people I've heard, but... Nothing concrete, so let's see where it goes. So, uh, what brings you to Lindlum? Best full of the hunt. What else? It's a good opportunity to test my skills. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll find him someday. Aren't you participating? Nah, I think I'll pass. Lazy bum. Are you ever gonna go back? Or are you ever gonna go back? I have no reason to return to Bamisia. There's nothing there for me anymore. Is that Morris? Morid? Morn? What, what was the what was the coffee guy's name? Morid. Mor, Mor. I don't know. So, how is the queen? Is she still as vibrant as ever? Yeah, that's... That's definitely a... A way to, des to describe Queen Brawn. Also, Firebirdies, shut your pie hole. You're no Queen Brawn, okay? You're Princess Garnet, you've even got the dark hair. So I want to hear that nonsense bad talking again. Yes, but... Since father died, mother's been acting very strangely. I mean, she could be depressed. I'm not surprised, but well, they loved each other so much. We haven't spoken much lately. Also, a suspicious man has been prowling around the castle. I don't know what's going on anymore. I fear that she might be planning something terrible. I've brought this matter to everyone's attention, but no one has taken me seriously. They all think I'm distraught over losing father. I understand why you are so eager. I'm happy that you came to. Uh, ugh, I'm happy that you came to me for help. At this point, I think you're the only person mother will listen to. When I heard that Limblum's theater ship was coming to Alexandria, I decided to sneak on board and come here no matter what. I just never expected the crew to kidnap me. It was me. What? I was the one who ordered Tantalus to kidnap you. What? What? Why? What? What? Oh, oh, that means he knows Queen Brahm's up to bad stuff. Oh, this it's gonna get dark, isn't it? I once promised your father that should anything happen, I would protect you. <laughs> He's an awkward. <laughs> He's a bug. He's gonna protect- whatever, he's got money. We've known about the disturbances in Alexandria for some time. But had we acted directly, it would have started a war. So I asked Baku for help. He and I go way back. Ooh, that's a story I want to know. The play was the perfect cover to enter Alexandria and get you out. No one would suspect Lindblom was behind it. We were forced to take action because we knew Alexandria would never seek our help. I'm relieved you were able to get to you. Or get you here. At the village of Dolly, we saw numerous black mages. They look like golems controlled by some powerful magic. On top of that, they were being created under Alexandria's supervision. Ooh, that's a shining gem above his throne. 
I don't know how they're related to Vivi, but if Mother's planning to use them for war, we won't let that happen. Even if she were to command an army of Black Majors, she won't make a move as long as we have our airship fleet. Don't worry, but why? Everything will be fine. That's foreshadowing. You're gonna lose that fleet, brother. I'm so sorry, Uncle. Now, now, come on. Don't be so formal. I'm helping you because I'm your Uncle Sid, not because I'm the Regent of Lindblom. Thank you so much. He seems like a great man. Oh, the walking sounds. It's so good. What is this place? The heart and soul of Lindblom, our airship dock. This is dock number one where we conduct our research work. But where are the airships? Lonely, isn't it? We had a new airship model in here about six months ago. It was our latest creation. It didn't require mist to fly. The man who attacked you, was he the one who ran off with it? Who'd guess, but no. Actually, I met a lovely lady at the pub. Didn't you say you were married? Um... When Hilda found out about my little affair, she used her magic and turned me into an oglop. Then she stormed off in the new airship, which I named Hildegard. Pretty ironic, huh? Well, at least he's open about his infidelity from the get-go. She hasn't been back since. What? I've been working on Hildegard too, but it hasn't been going too well. My mind just isn't the same as an oglop. I'm hopeless. But that doesn't mean I can't help you. I'll do my best for Alexandria. Thank you. But this, with Southgate badly damaged, I don't know how we can get back to Alexandria. Don't worry, Southgate is being repaired as we speak. Once the repairs are finished, we'll go to Alexandria. Yes, I'm sure Mother will finally open her eyes to the truth. Yeah, he doesn't think so. Uncle, is something wrong? Huh? No, I was just thinking about how the theater ship crashed. Baku sure has good men working under him. Hmm. Saying that uh, Zidane's good men. Ooh, we gotta explore the city now. Good morning. You're up early. Lambla is a really busy place. I've never seen this many people before. I wonder where people go if they want to be alone. Lambla has always been like this. People come here from all over the world. Some of them come here and become airship engineers, sculptors, actors. So it's Los Angeles. Wow. I don't even remember why I came here my first time. Before I knew it, I was living here with my Tantalus brothers. Do they still live here? Yeah, our hideout is in the theater district. Ooh, I'm going there. I'm gonna go there right now. You wanna come along? Um, that's okay. I'm gonna go look around town. Okay, then I'll give you a little tour. No, that's okay. I can go myself. Oh, uh, okay. You go find yourself a cute girl, all right? Teach me, Mogster, my first synthesis lesson. Ah, oh, it's these guys. Hey, bro, what are you going to teach me today? Lots of neat stuff. Today, I'm going to talk about the synthesis shop. In addition to regular shops where you can buy and sell items, there are synthesis shops where you can synthesize items to create new ones. There's crafting. Let's go. All you need are two items to serve as their base and a few gill to cover labor. The items you need and the amount of money you pay vary for each synthesized item. Here are some examples. The ogre. Require I have two mage mashers. Desert boots. I think I have both of those. If you haven't been in a synthesis shop yet, go check one out in Lindblom. Oh, speaking of synthesis, I'll let you in on the big secret. Long ago, I heard rumors there was a legendary synthesist who can create the best items. But I don't know where he lives or what he looks like. Hmm, gosh, bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. Love that bit. Alright, look around for stuff. Mood on. There's a letter for Sidane. Oh, hey. <gasps> Ruby! Hey, y'all come back to Alexandra? I'm so lonely. Just kicking. Just kidding. I'm opening a little theater in the alley here. 
A bartender pal of mine is quitting the saloon and getting into showbiz. He asked me to help. Your friend is starting a mini theater? Sounds like fun, Kupo. I want mail. So, I need to find Mo Moki. Monkey. I'm gonna save because, you know, the game did. I mean, I, it, I don't have to be s terribly cautious because we also just have, like, auto saves. Real handy. But always the downfall of a port to PC is they don't always get the love they deserve. Um, so, it could, it could also be the mod for all I know. Is there really nothing in there, though? I don't want to explore that room again. Huh. I'm surprised. Not even like 12 gil. Oh well. Bobo Bird Statue. Bobo Birds are symbols of good fortune according to an Olgan myth. The founder of the inn bought the statue and it has been passed down for generations. Cool. Uh, comment suggestions. The room was terrible. Also, that thing crying kapow, kapow, kept me up all night. Throw him out as soon as possible or I'm never coming back. Screw you, Lonnie. Alright, it is 10 gil per night. Will you be staying with us? Sorry, he looks like a character from uh, Radiata Stories with, with that kind of voice. I think it's the guy that has the, um, the shop with the big saber tooth in it. Small town night in a big city. What a huge town. I'm completely lost. Oh, hey, a red mage. Pardon me. Jeez, you're dressed off funny. I'm Captain Albert Stein of Alexandria, and I humbly request your assistance to get back to the castle. <laughs> That's a new one. Nice try, but I don't date bums. You should really scrape that rust off. It's disgusting. Are those fish? Oh. <gasps> Grandma Pickle? You always strike out with the lat badly. I think you need a new line. A little shine wouldn't help neither. What are these things? They're called Gasol Pickles. I love pickles. Let me know in the comments, do you like pickles? And if so, dill or sweet? I'm a dill guy, I like that tartness. They're one of Limbalm's delicacies. Do you want to try one? It smells terrible. The worse they smell, the better they taste. So, like cheese. I guess I'll try one. Why did he pass out? Oh my, even the locals don't eat him that in one bite. <sighs> You're right. They are good. <laughs> I want pickles. Papa's airship fighter is so cool. When I grow up, I'm going to fly with Papa. All right, Marsha. Papa should be back soon. I can't wait. Oh, little child plays uh, cards. Let's see if she wrecks my shop. Physical, physical, magic, magic. I thought I had an X somewhere. Oh, I do. X goes against the weakest, I think. Yay, I'm last. What? Bam. Studebaker. Um. Oh, I don't have any top rights. So I can't take it back. Um. I oh okay. Oh, I actually won. I actually won. No, oh, that's not a Sahagan. Here comes your amazing. Back in the old days, we had to walk all the way to the theater district. I don't think I could ever walk that far no more. I'd probably croak a die if I did. This year's festival is gonna be awesome. 
Who do you think is going to win? I'm putting my money on Ivan. Yeah, he's good, but I heard a female Dragon Knight's participating this year. I'll bet you two cheeseburgers Ivan's going to win. All right, you're on. I hope I can come back and see them. Silly old man. Go oh, away. I'm trying to remember what I have to do. Okay. Silly old man. Uh, before I go up, as I assume that's going to get us to where Steiner was, can I go down? Guess how long it takes to walk from here to the exit? 30 minutes. Man, I can't stand these walls. I only had an airship. This is the Hunter's Gate. You can enter Lindblom by foot here or go through the Dragon's Gate. Normally, we keep the Dragon's Gate closed because it's under the mist. Where a bunch of monsters lurk. Oh, okay. Did you come to Lindblom to shop? There are so many more shops here than there are in my hometown. Wow. How do they carve stone like this? That guy always acts like such a know-it-all. I don't know why he became a soldier. He should have been a tour guide instead. Let him enjoy himself. I can leave? I can just leave? Um... Seems dangerous? See if there's any more friendly monsters. Oh, and they got a back attack. Can I, can I run away? Uh, flee. Don't you grow on me. I was like, did it fail? Wait, they dropped 47 gil or I dropped 47 gil? I think they did. And that's flea gil. Wow. I'm gonna go back in town. This seems like a terrible idea, but I think Sidane one shots these fellas. Oh, this is gonna slow me, isn't it? No, it's gonna take forever to do anything. By the way, you should all uh, drink some water. Those are antennae? I thought they were some of its legs. America! Ooh, it is warm in the house today. Well, or <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think I should be out here alone. It's over there. <clears throat> so dangerous. What are those? Speaks. I would like to steal from you. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of damage. Ooh. That is an interesting looking um, design, though. I really like it. Let's try to steal from it once. Maybe twice. Ooh, okay, got some more. Yeah, I'm not I'm not messing with it. I think it's risky. They look really cool though. Wow, we wow. I guess easy levelings when you're alone though. I I I didn't mean to call you. Don't call me. Oh. Don't call me if you don't need me, Kapo. 
I was told to do this. Let's see what happens if I do it too many times. Oh, I was like, what the hell's that? It's an airship. Call me if you don't need me. How many times do you have to do it? Well, apparently I had to like do the Queen Brawn thing like 60 some odd times. You're start. Ooh, it's changing. You're starting to tick me off, Koopo. Come if you don't need me. He's not gonna like game over me, is he? I'm sharpening my knife. <laughs> oh man. Ooh. I'm a little scared of this guy. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Oh! Cause Moogle, Moogle to have a tantrum. One nag, too many. Okay, so I guess that's it. And I got an achievement for it. That's awesome. Nice. Um... Uh... Vivi's shopping. Wow, this nut smells really good. I think I'll buy one. This place has a lot of unusual things. Is this food? It looks good. It looks like these sesame buns that Grandpa used to make. Alice's Item Shop. Festival of the Hunt Sale ends today. Wow, there's gonna be a festival? Oh, is that a Queen Brom statue? Hi, I, I wanna buy this. Oh, are you friends with the Moogles? Huh? That item is called a Koopo Nut. Koopo Nuts are Moogles' favorite food. Oh, I didn't know that. I think that's the last one. Go ahead, honey. It's on me. Oh, you're so nice. Really? Thank you. Received a Koopo Nut. Uh, what is this festival of the hunt like? Well, we let a bunch of animals loose and... Oh, there's gonna be a lot of animals. It sounds like fine, thank you. What's so fun about fighting savage beasts? Wait a minute, did I say animals again? <laughs> oh my gosh. Ma'am. Ma'am, you're gonna get someone killed. Old Margaret. Transportation sure has come a long way. When I was young, we used to ride chocobos. They were much slower than these air cabs. It used to take at least an hour to get to the theater. That's a long time. Provisional air cab schedule. For the next three days, air cabs will operate on festival of the hunt schedules. Cool. I don't want to leave yet though. I want to explore this level. However you want to think about it. Oh wait. Um. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Aww. So is up here where Steiner was? It kind of looks like Town Squarish. It is. Darn, they're not selling at all. Gasol pickles are good, but they smell really bad. Hey, if I talk to you again, you say anything about Steiner? No, you don't. Darn. Uh, is this like a water? It looks like water. Mila's oil shop. I used to have a student named Mila. Now carrying Oglop oil, one of the most popular medicines in the market. Mountain Oglop oil also in stock. Oh, is this the one who like left Alexandria? I just came here to watch the festival, but I guess they'll expect some souvenirs. What a bummer. I hate buying gifts. I was thinking of buying some Oglop oil, but it's so disgusting. Okay, then don't buy it, old lady. Ivan's Fish Shack. Fresh fish sold every day. Wimpy guy. I'm getting sick. The air is so bad here. <laughs> it smells like I'm a big air. Big oil refinery. Shut up, wimpy kid. Card freak gone. The card game is, a, is deep. 
Okay. Card collector number seven, feature article regarding rare cards. Rare cards are priceless. The cards you're carrying could become rare cards. Fabul publications. Oh, don't find me, okay. Uh, I can disturb the birdies. Hey, potion. Kind of scared to find. He's gonna whoop my tushy, isn't he? Um, sure. Come on, go second. Dang it! Uh, I want that one. Want that one? Okay, so mine, he has zero magical defense, so... Suck it, nerd! Um... I beat him. That's something cool. I did not lose. Oh, oh, that's you. Yeah, my. Oh, what? Hey, you were in the castle, kind of tiny chef. I'm the chef the Limlum Castle. I demand the finest ingredients for all my dishes. Nice. Sid must eat well. Oh, I want to talk to Hippo Man. Uh, Pepe's Milk Shop offering farm fresh milk delivered from Limblum Plateau. Excellent. In stews? I don't think of it in stews, but like in certain soups, maybe. I don't know. Grandma Potpourri. Potpourri. Would you like to buy a flower pot? You can use it as a cookware, too. I'm carrying a lot of nice pots right now. Okay. Uzu, I train like crazy for this year's festival. I'm going to win for sure. I have a feeling I'm going to enter it and could win. Boo -doo, boo -doo. Wow, wow. Rio, I'm bored. Let's go to another store. I'm on. In a minute. Jeez. Man, looking at this stuff makes me want to become a gladiator. Okay, Carl. I remember a guy with spiky hair who carried something like this. <laughs> it's a cloud reference. Dragoos. If you want to come out on top in the festival, you should definitely buy some weapons here. Javelin. Orc. Headgear. Can I see what it would teach me? That'd be really cool if I could see what it would teach me. Oh. What a cheesy suit of armor. Who'd buy this crap? Is this where Steiner got his armor? Also, where's this uh, synthesis shop? Mocha's Coffee. We serve top grade coffee. 10% of our coffee beans are from the coffee rich heights of Norlick. Norwick. 10% of your coffee? It's not a lot. <gasps> this is where Vivi was. I think you're going to need some medicine if you're going to participate in the festival. I'm good. I think so. Ugh. Butch's girlfriend. Wolf. Hannah. We don't have any items in stock today because Southgate is under repair. What does that have to do with? Kubo Nuts. Moose's favorite food. Sold out. We have a coop. 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 What are they called? <laughs> I don't know. The fire's too strong. How many times do I have to tell you a few degrees can make the difference between a good weapon and a bad one? Use a lower flame. Stop nagging. We've got a customer. When is he gonna get it through his head? Is this the synthesis shop? Go talk to the old man first. 
Fire's so hot, it could probably melt steel instantly. He has the potential, but I don't... He doesn't work hard enough. Oh! He's got some silver gloves. Okay, cool. I think that's what... Um, uh, Steiner's currently wearing. Or no, I don't know. How's it going? Do you want me to make you something for the festival? Butterfly sword. The ogre. Cotton robes. Wrists and steepled hat. Glass buckle. Do I not have those? Oh, I think they're equipped to people right now. Hmm. Standard Thief Sword adds silence. Standard Thief Sword adds darkness. Ordinary robe. Earth damage reduced by 50%. Raises strength. Protected by mysterious powers. Hmm. I'm gonna think on those. And by think, I mean I'm actually gonna probably look up what they teach you. Because if they teach different things... Like if the butterfly edge has something that the ogre doesn't teach, I'll want to buy them both. But, or I could not look it up and I could play authentically. Lady with an apron, this church has been here for a long time. It's been here since before the city was even built when this entire area was a forest. I don't know why, but this church began the Festival of the Hunt tradition. What? Why? The Festival of the Hunt is neither a joke nor a traditional pastime. It is a way of life. It draws on the deepest strength and refines courage. You are. And then Jesus said, Don't be a dick. The end. There. Simon. Sermon. Leather plate. Something you can wear or that uh is. It's literally what I have on right now. <laughs> I'm so smart. You know what? I'm just going to buy all the stuff I need. To craft. Ooh, can I go in here? Arf! Are you serious? This little dog? Really? You stopping me? Stopping me, punk? Hmm? I need to go buy another um, mage masher. did I need? I uh, don't remember. We will be back to find out on the next episode of Go Through This Door Passage. Oh, hey. The synthesis stuff is great. Get a load of this hammer. I had to make it out, out of a frying pan. That's weird, but okay. So I need a steepled hat, glass armlet, and leather wrist. Steepled hat, glass armlet, and leather wrist. I don't believe they had the glass. Yeah, they didn't. I do you want to see what this can teach? So, what's that? And Soul Blade. Okay, so they are two different things. Very cool. What's that do? Allows back attack. What? Like, it turns... It's... What? 
I don't know. Let's see what Soul Blade does. What does my blade do? Draws out the hidden power of Thief Swords. Okay. So it would do a darkness attack, or it would do that. I need to finish learning Bandit, though. Undead Killer. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can craft anything else. I think I can. Actually, hold on. Items. Darn, I can't look at their their battle properties. A yellow scarf. Set it raise strength, I think. Oh, they're both this. Okay, so this goes Flea Gill and Scan. Oh, some Spirit and Evasion. <clears throat> millionaire. I want to learn Millionaire on somebody. That Who can learn that? That sounds like, um, give me more money. I like money. Money's good for you and stuff. It, it gives you all the... The monies that you need to, to make monies and to spend monies and to buy monies. Oh, did your dad come back? Hey, Papa, where'd you fly to? Just over the border. Really? How is Southgate? It was bad. I think I'll take a while. To, it'll take a while to repair. Great thing about the festival is you get to take off to be with your family. Did you play cards, sir? You do not. You have failed your children. There. <laughs> but folks, that is going to be this episode. We are past 45 minutes, and we've just been doing mostly some exploration. And to me, that is a beautiful frickin' thing. I hope you don't mind that I'm taking things slowly. The goal is to not rush this Let's Play, but to understand what makes you all love this game so much. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do take care of yourselves. But until next time, bye-bye for now.